Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is gonna be my blush collection and I've been stalling, I've been stalling so much to film collection videos because palettes, I know, makeup or eyeshadow palettes are probably the most interesting but my collection is kind of growing fast and I never know like if I film a video today it's gonna be kind of out of date in a month's time so I definitely want to do a palette collection for you because this has been so requested I will it's probably gonna be a couple of installments because I cannot film overhead and I like I probably could figure it out but I just don't want to so plus I I find it nicer to also talk a little bit about the brand about my experience and not just hold it in the camera and put it to the side you know so it's a little bit more entertaining it's a little bit more chatty it's like girlies hanging out or guys whatever you are so anyway uh, that is what I kind of want to do so my first experience <laughs> with filming a blush collection is what we're gonna do today. Um, if this is clumsy it's because I have no experience with this, okay? And I'm starting with this because this is probably where I have the least. It is though probably way more than an, a normal everyday gal. <laughs> Has, okay so if you're new here I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and I'm a stylist and I invite you to subscribe because we're having a lot of fun here and of course if you want to see more looks like this and also a little bit more subtle but mostly colorful then you can go to my social media everything is gonna be linked in the description box for more looks for flat lace for swatches for all of that okay sweeties let's go in I tried to sort it a little bit according to brand and I hope I'm not messing this up. Okay, so let us start with it's this is not a ranking, okay? But it happens to be that I'm going to start with the product that I like the least, and that is MAC. This is definitely MAC, and it's their powder blushes. Because I also I'm going to sh show you in a second their extra dimension blushes who are nicer, okay? But these here are uh, the blushes that I have, and this is like a palette that I made for myself. Actually, this was part of my makeup kit of working as a makeup artist on clients, you know? This is what I had, and this I always used as a contour shade for of course skin tones like mine and these are pretty subtle blushes which I guess most people like so that's why I put them in here I don't like them I don't like them at all and for the price I think it's a crime honestly you know like personally <laughs> not my piece of cake also this one immediately went hard pan I kind of fix it and I keep have to like rip off a bit with with uh, sticky tape you know um so I can still use it but I'm not a fan at all so yeah uh, and I have to say there is really nothing in Mac that draws me to go in there and to buy something extra dimension blushes and extra dimension highlighters are okay so the two the two blushes that I have from that is the wrapped candy blush also this is partially hard pen you know and I'm not some kind of uh, I don't know person who doesn't know how to handle makeup so there is no reason for me wh why this should go hard pan and then there is this one which has not gone hard pan this is the shade telling glow I really really like them the colors of them and the performance is a little bit thinner but when I bought them and I was newer to makeup I really really like them I'm still using them but um, not as much anymore because I kind of like it a little bit um, stronger now you know what I mean? So these are the two extra dimension blushes that I have and they are nice but the other ones I'm really not using them anymore because I figure like why? Why why bother? You know? So anyway um, I don't know if I'm going to declutter them or whatever. At the moment I have never ever decluttered anything really. That's not true but not when it comes to blushes. I don't think so. Okay you know what? Let us go into Kiko and I kind of have to add something that I just forgot to add before because I have just found or refound my love for cream products and I actually do have two cream blushes from Kiko Milano it's very very subtle shades I don't know why I bought them because they are super super light 
like even for me and I'm really really fair you know so uh, this is how they look and I personally think it's almost like what was I thinking but the whole concept of cream products is definitely growing on me definitely I'm probably going to go uh, for a little bit like darker shades but also these are already like two years old they're probably not even good anymore I'm still using them though and um, and I also have a, um, a contour shade in the, from the same line and I'm really really getting into into the green blushes and I blame solely I blame Nikki Raven for this because you know in our private little chats in our daily friendship time we are kind of not only chatting about makeup of course but also about stuff like this and she's very much into cream products you know and I was like well I still have something maybe I should give it another try and I did and I'm actually really liking it yeah okay so let's go on with Kiko Milano. I have two more blushes from the Ocean Feel line. I don't know which summer collection that was because I really don't know. So this is the shade Sunkissed. This is more of a peachy kind of shade and then I have a more rosy one which is the shade Bonnie Mine. This is how they look. One second, just holding them up next to each other. This is how they look. Um, are they my most favorite? Probably not. They're a little bit more on the drier side and um, I can work with this. You know, it's it's okay. I can build it up. It's all fine. It's just maybe not my most favorite. I like it a little bit more um, velvety, kind of, you know? Okay, and then I have two more products from Kiko Milano. This is from the Magical Holiday line. And um, I don't know why I always buy in twos. That's why I, I'm a mother of twins twice, you know? That's why. <laughs> because I always scream here when they give away twos. Okay, so this is Dusty Rose, I think, is it? No, Perfect Rose. So this is a little bit more of a Dusty Rose kind of a thing and this has a bit of a coral sheen to it. They are also very nice. Kiko Milano is a good quality. It's a good quality brand, if you ask me. And um, yeah, and also I personally here where I live, I don't have much selection or like options to select from different stores we have il maquillage we have mac we have kiko milano and besides that we have drugstore you know and drugstore is you wouldn't believe you know yeah so that was kiko milano then let's go on to actually israeli drugstore and in our drugstores you can buy pupa milano and that is actually also a brand i'm using a lot when it comes to eyeliners lip liners and also i do have three blushes that is basically all i own from pupa milano i've never tried have i i've n i don't think i've ever tried eyeshadows or anything nothing has ever really spoken to me i've never tried foundation or anything Thing. but what I have I liked okay now these here they have probably collectors value because these were probably the first blushes I bought and you're gonna be shocked when you see them because these are <laughs> these are so not me this is how they look <laughs> And honestly, they still work. They're probably like three years old. They still work. And sometimes when I'm actually wearing a super, super rosy look on my eyes and I don't feel like having a blush that is also rosy, then I'm going for blushes like this and it actually still works, you know? And the nice thing with those is that you do have a different different consistencies, different um, like mattes and also shimmers in this. And when you swirl it together, it actually comes out really, really nice. They're buildable. They're nicely blendable. Everything fine so yeah this is pupa <laughs> i'm not going to even try to link all of this because you know if you want to check out those brands just check them out google them whatever you know but anyway and then i also have one uh, also from pupa which is like a doll luminous blush this is what it's called and this it looks a little bit brown slash dusty rose kind of a situation but it is actually on the skin a little bit more rosy and this is actually also a super super nice blush also this one is super old already i kind of i cannot let go of these you know especially of this one the other ones maybe it could even be that they have been previously in a declutter bin and then i just put it all back because i feel like i can't let go i cannot let go as of right now <laughs> Okay, so let us also talk about Il Maquillage. So I used to work with Il Maquillage for a short while, for like two years, one and a half years, something like that, okay? So, um, and as part of my work kit from Il Maquillage, I had uh, these two blushes. So this is Isla, Isla, wait, how does one say that? Isla, Isla I don't know how to pronounce it. Isla Bonita, maybe? It's a mineral-baked blush. 
this is how she looks really really cute very very cute and then one that is super super light and i don't even know this could be a highlighter actually but it is a blush and this is the shade uh, lolita lolita this is how they look good performance heavily overpriced is everything from Il Maquillage but they do have some good products seriously um, not everything is good eyeshadows yeah you know all kinds of stuff meh but the the blushes are good you know highlighter you know but anyway so because I actually did like their baked blush formula I also made myself a little palette I've spoken about this one already in previous videos these are of course a little bit darker a little bit more edgy and I really really like them I use them a lot honestly really really nice performance super nice so their baked blush formula um, from Il Maquillage is really really good okay now let's go to the only Juvia's Place product that I have when it comes to blushes this is the Saharan blush volume 2 okay it's the hair and blush palette volume 2 the volume 1 is of course for darker skin tones and this is for lighter skin tones not using it all that much honestly I got this as a gift is that true I think I, I got this as a gift from my husband when he came home from a business trip from the States I believe I it's hard for me to say right now but anyway so this is what it is and it's cute it's cute. Is it all my favorite colors? Probably not, but I appreciate that my husband um, went and bought it for me, you know? So yeah, that is that. Then also I do have uh, two palettes from Morphe. One looks like this. This is the Cool Pro, what is it called? 8C? 8C Cool Pro. This is what she looks like. And then there is of course also a warmer toned one. I don't have that one because I personally like it a little bit more into this direction. Good performance. Nothing bad about it, you know? it's Is it my favorite formula? No. But does it have to be? No. Like whatever, you know? I'm pretty I don't know stable when it comes to working with stuff also when, when it's not my most favorite thing you know so that is the cool pro and then I have a small one and that is the pop of coral also from Morphe and this I got from one of my besties from Judith because at some point I started to really really get into like corally or peachy blushes and then she bought this for me which is so sweet so we have two mattes here and then we have uh, this shimmery shade here and um, I'm also using them on top of each other or on their own you know it's really cute really really cute it's by now it's probably a little bit too light for me I would probably combine it with something else but anyway so that is Morphe all right let's go on to Colourpop. I have three blushes from Colourpop and um, I'm not such a big fan honestly. I use them, they're okay. Also these these two went hard pan immediately. I don't want to really open them too much because uh, most of them just broke already before I received them. So maybe you can see that this is already hard pan and um, and this happens like immediately you know so I don't I don't understand. This one is a matte it's also broken and this one is another super what is it called? super shock cheek uh, per pearlized pearlized <laughs> blush it's also broken and it's also hard pen so I can still use them but it's I don't know I always feel like why go through the effort you know why um yeah so I also have actually two of these shad shadows these are not super shock cheek they are super shock shadows for the eye but I think these are also really really cute if you go in with a very very light hand if you have my skin tone you can also use them on your cheek this is the sommelier bundle from Colourpop that came out at the beginning of January with the wine and only collection you know so I have those two uh, this one is broken so I'm not going to open this one but this one I can open for you and this is how it looks yeah so it's a cute color it looks really really good on me um I'm just in general the super shock cheek and super shock shadows shadows on the eye yes but super shock cheek has not been working out for me so well but maybe that's just another thing where I just have to like revisit it and and get back into it so let me just put this away here <sighs> okay so that was that then I actually before I I have all kinds of single ones you know where I just have one from each brand before we go into that I want to actually show you an Israeli brand and that is Beauty Care and I have to say that I actually like their baked blushes a lot a lot and if I had a choice I would probably only use them 
the whole time because they are so velvety and nice nice to to apply and it's just so so nice anyway also these blushes i bought all three of them when they were available and also they are already old they're probably also two years old i don't know if they're still available so these are called the terracotta blushes okay so they all have this kind of a um, um i don't know m marble design I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Maybe you can see that there is like a bronzy thing going on and then also swirls of like a lavender pinkish shade. So there is that one. Then there is here one that is brown and silver. And all of them are of course glowy blushes and I love that. And the one that I'm wearing today actually is this one here. It's this one. So this is like a... Um, kind of a, like more like a real terracotta color you know so I really really like them they're so so good and they retailed for two dollars something like that you know because beauty care is a very very affordable brand in Israel and I I like them and I'm not ashamed that I like them and then at some point I bought also uh, this one this is also from beauty, beauty care this is called what is it called long-lasting silky face blusher silky face blusher okay have used that maybe twice and i think it's good i think it's good you know it's also a bit glowy but not as glowy as the baked blushes and i think it's cute very very cute so yeah the blushes there really really good no complaints okay so now let's go on into the single Thingies, okay so first I want to show you my blush from she glam which is this one this is the metallic glow blush in the shade slay also a very good product works super super well it's a beautiful color it's kind of also glowy and and cute it's really really nice and also this retailed for I don't want to say something wrong maybe four dollars or something you know from she glam okay then another Israeli drugstore brand is Jade so Jade cosmetics uh, what what have I tried from Jade? Lip liners also, eyeliners, not sure. But I have this blush, I have lip liners, and I also have my bronzer is right now from Jade that I'm just using up. So this is how it looks like. This is the shade Cashmere Rose, I think. Yeah, Cashmere Rose. And it's also a glowy blush, super, super sweet color, nice performance, you know? So I also have to say that drugstore in Israel is not really like, I don't know, it might be true that everywhere the, the prices are going up, also in maybe America's drugstores or whatever. In any way, Europe, everything is more expensive too. So just saying that also in Israel, everything is super expensive. Everything that is, everything you can buy. <laughs> It's just really expensive okay so let me show you this one this is from melt this is the raw honey blush duo and this is gorgeous and I got this from my very very good friend Christine from Australia I've mentioned her already so many times she has ordered I think she had ordered two or something and then she gave one to me and that's so so sweet of her so anyway this is nice I really really like it you know and again this is the kind of color scheme that I'm using when I have a very very rosy thing going on on my eyes then this is just perfect to sort of balance it out to not be rosy all over you know so this is so so nice really really liking it okay now Christy Brinkley this I received early on <laughs> early on in my YouTube career um, from um, one of my besties and that is uh, Judith and she gave me this one. This is the Cheek Chic Color and Contour Powder Blush in the shade Posh. That is also very very cute and it looks much better on the face. Like, like this it looks really unspectacular but it looks really really nice when you have it actually on your cheeks. So and also the performance is so smooth. So so nice. Like, like really this is my only product that I have from Christy Prinkley but it's so so good okay also from Judith I got this one this is from Laura Geller this is the baked blush and brighten tropic hues this is what it looks like this is a little bit drier I still like it it has to be built up but I feel it is a little bit drier in consistency and it's probably also a little bit too light for me I would probably put a, a little bit of a darker blush underneath and then top it off with this because the performance is nice performance is really nice it's also glowy which I really really like I probably prefer the glowy blushes to the matte blushes even though it can be a super classy good look 
with mattes but anyway I'm more like a glowy person as you know okay then let's move on to sleek makeup okay so this is also super old I don't even remember when I bought this this is years and years ago so this is the blush by three palette I don't know which which number three six seven whatever you know so these these are the blushes that you can see you have two mattes here and you have a shimmery or a glowy one in the middle all of them work okay is it my favorite definitely not I'm basically not reaching for this really but I bought this when I visited Germany because I cannot buy sleek here so yeah anyway and then I also want to show you and that is really the last thing is that true yeah that is already the last thing and I got this from my other bestie who is Sue and she gave me this one so this is the glimmer light palette it's like a face palette from Nabla that was the first thing that I received from Nabla and this is how she looks now you see that this is heavily used because I've been using that a lot the formula is also not my favorite I have to say it is very very thin you need to build up quite a bit in order to get a result or at least to get the result that I want to have so it's not just a hint of something but it is there you know because that is the result that I want to get when I'm using something so I have to build it up and I'm usually also mixing shades and stuff this one I can also use as a highlighter honestly and yeah so it is it is a nice palette I'm super super grateful that because of so I have the the opportunity to try Nabla you know um is it my favorite I wouldn't say it is because I just feel like my simple stuff that I showed you before for example the one from Beauty Care is in performance for what I want what for what I personally want in the makeup application is better it's just better than like super expensive stuff and for me Nabla is really really expensive but yeah so but anyway it is a nice performance it just depends what look you're going for when I'm going for a little bit of a um, more ethereal look you know a little bit more like a hint of something then this is perfect if I want to go for the Big Bang then I'm probably gonna go for something that is a much much stronger in the way it applies you know what I mean so yeah that is it that was my collection and I hope you did enjoy this so I'm going to try I actually want to badly badly film also my highlighter collection because I'm even more passionate about my highlighters than about my blushes but I'm still waiting for something to come in because I ordered an amazing amazing highlighter I at least I think it's going to be amazing and I want this to be included in the video so please let me know what you think about me filming my palette collections in segments and just sitting here and chatting about it and just showing you the different brands but breaking it up into different videos what do you think about that because if I do the whole thing it's going to be a very very long video and it's going to be insane so maybe I should break it up in like three segments or something like this what do you think all right so that is it for today i hope you did enjoy this and maybe i don't know maybe if you're local please feel free to check out the big blushes from beauty care because you know what they're good all right um and besides that of course if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel i would absolutely love to have you here check out my social media and of course you will find also my makeup that i'm wearing today in the description box and also all my discount codes that i have with different brands besides that i'm going to see you here super soon for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye